Welcome art students. Today in our virtual art class we're going to get started on the Roman soldier and we're also going to be do doing lettering um, for the Ephesians 6 uh, Bible verses about the armor of God. So we're going to be labeling all of his different, the parts of his armor and shield and everything. So what you're going to need um, is just pencils and a piece of paper, a ruler, and an eraser. Um, I have a, uh, a set of pencils here that I got from Hobby Lobby that, that um, I'm going to actually use the HB, which is more towards um, the hard pencils. That's actually what we usually use for a regular pencil. Um, I do have a little chart here that I did. Um, 4H is the very hardest um, graphite um, drawing pencil, all the way to 8B, which is super soft. So um, something in the middle is really good to start sketching with. And what we're going to do is use our, our soldier diagram um, that I sent home with you um, just as a, a guide. Okay, so we're going to start on a 9 by 12 piece of paper and we're going to um, we're going to leave a margin at the top and, a, and at the bottom for our, our headings of the armor of God and then the verse. So um, I'm coming down two inches, making an, a, a mark, coming down two inches, making another mark, and then making a very, very light line across. These are just for guide guidelines, just to help us get started, okay? Then two, two inches from the bottom, that gives us a good margin for our lettering, okay? And then make another light colored line. Now you may be able to see that I've already started sketching a little bit on this just to, um, for it to be easier to show you, okay? Then um, I'm actually coming in another two inches from the side so that we can position the Roman soldier in the middle um, and have a place for the shield over here. So we want it to, to, to be the right proportion and that's what we're, we're shooting for here. So two inches in on both sides gives us another nice guideline. So basically we have a rectangle here that is about eight inches by five inches. So the next thing you wanna do, um, if this is a nine by 12, then four, at four and a half inches, you're gonna, you want to, to get a center line, okay? And make that super light, but you want um, his body to be um, exactly on either side of the center line so that um, your composition is centered. Um, and then you can think about making both sides of his body um, symmetrical around these lines. Um, another good guideline is halfway in between the top and the bottom line, which is at about four inches. Okay, so making a couple little places there. This gives us another um, opportunity to kind of eye things. Okay, so very, very light. So now we've got two segments here. And if we look at our drawing, what we're trying to do, this is um, a way of blocking in the major shapes, okay? So that's the first thing that we're going to do. Um, now, we have that center line, um, and that's gonna give us an idea <clears throat> where, where his waist needs to be is above that line, okay? So just maybe blocking that in, <clears throat> making uh, an, a, an oval up here and his uh, the face is actually going to be about an inch and a quarter um, sometimes if you make it bigger you're going to realize it as you start to to draw um, a lot of times you know now see how lightly i'm sketching okay we're trying to make like this rectangle here so here's that center line so his waist is above it and then um, much farther below it is the bottom of his tunic, okay? And then, you know, making um, a little bit of a rounded place for his shoulders, but we're just trying to block in this area. So um, his waist doesn't come way far in, but it is, you know, a little bit smaller than the way his tunic is here. Then his legs, 
So the center line that we that we um, drew here, there's another, so here's the waist above it. Here's a line here. This is actually where his legs start, okay? Underneath his, his the, the skirt of his tunic. So that gives you an idea of which, how his legs need to come down. So blocking out his legs, we can start to just kind of fine tune them, okay? Then we're gonna wanna get this arm in, all right? So here's that, that line. Remember, here's the center line. We made the line up here for his waist. That's also the line for where his elbow comes down, okay? And then this line that we drew over here two inches in is a perfect place to put his, his spear, okay? So, it, and, and, and you know, sometimes if you just ball, like that's where his fist is gonna be. Okay, his elbow's gonna come down and come back up. And here is his shoulder, okay? And then um, you don't have to get super detailed. Right now we're just trying to get it proportionate. Um, his other arm is actually um, going to be behind his shield. So the shield is pretty big. Now, um, you can have, use your creative license. You do not have to make your shield exactly like this. But basically, this is a big rectangle that has a rounded part up here and a rounded part here. If you want to make it um, the way this, um, this picture is, um, you certainly can. Um, and that's what I'm, I'm going to show, okay? It just has a couple of lines. And then, like I said, you feel free to do any kind of, you know, neat design. Um, this could be a little bit of a different shape. Use your creativity there. Okay. So let's make sure that we've got a nice, um, you know, proportionate head. And then the next thing we're going to want to do is um, make this line here for the top, the, his helmet, so that we know where his face is going to be, okay? And then he's got like this um, part of his helmet comes out like that. So. Once you have a nice oval, and see how many different lines I have here, it doesn't matter. You're, you're going to come to um, what kind of drawing you want to be just by sketching and doing like gesture lines so that you like, you know, you get what you like. If you get it too detailed right away, then you, you're doing a lot of erasing. So here's the top of his helmet, and I'm coming right up to that line that we made um, two inches down, okay? Um, so there's gonna be that kind of that neat design there. And then, um, so he's got, a, he's got a man's face, so it's not gonna be so rounded. It's going to have a little bit of a, um, a more of an angular look. Okay, so if this is his head, his eyes are gonna be right through the center here. And here's our line going right down through um, his nose. Um, uh, like we did with our um, our Greek portraits, um, a lot of times, you know, making the face very um, handsome, and making it a nice strong face, you're gonna make the top of like um, a little football, and then I then make a, a little round place underneath. Okay, just the suggestion. Don't get too detailed, and then right. In the middle here just kind of do a rounded place and come up like that and then just the top of the lip just the suggestion of the lip I hope that you you're able to see this okay I still think that looks a little bit too so when you add in you know the eyebrows okay it's gonna give him a little it'll look more like a soldier right now I think he looks sort of like a girl um, so you're gonna, you're gonna, so kind of got the proportion here. He's got, um, his armor, um, he's got like a scarf here. Okay, so just kind of draw that in, sketch it in until you like it. You can all, and what we're gonna do is, I'm, I'm gonna just um, do a little bit more drawing with you, but this was just to get you started, okay? Here's this, now we're drawing this part here, all these different plates and how they 
you know, so they're basically in a rounded place here. Then he's got, um, you know, the lines that go through here, okay? And then he's got this belt, like a leather, a leather belt. That's the belt of truth. So the, the verse from Ephesians, um, the, the part that talks about the, the armor is um, Ephesians 6, 13. Therefore, take up the full armor of God that you may be able to resist in the evil day and having done everything to stand firm. Stand firm, therefore, having girded your loins with truth and having put on the breastplate of righteousness and having shod your feet with the preparation of the gospel of peace. In addition to all, taking up the shield of faith with which you will be able to extinguish all the flaming missiles of the evil one and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. So um, we are doing a Roman soldier because we're this, this semester we've been working in the Greco-Roman um, art age. Um, but this is perfect for um, the timing that, that this is. Tomorrow's Holy Thursday. Um, Roman soldiers were set to guard the tomb of Jesus and so there's just a lot of neat things about doing this um, piece of artwork right now so um, okay so let's get some of the the um, the limbs done so you know getting give you know he's strong so giving him some definition um, the hands you know the knuckles the fingers, okay? It does not have, you know, get, so if you don't like something, you erase it, okay? Um, but bringing, bringing this around, it's, he's holding, he's holding the spear, okay? And um, he's, he's got uh, like a sword here. Okay, so you're just, you're still sketching things in, right? And then a couple places there. Let's talk about the legs. Let's work on the legs. So we sort of blocked out these, you know, long things. His feet, you can come up and over the line if you want to on this. He's actually standing on the line. So here's the, here's the shield. Okay, so we're still sketching. But here's the skirt, the bottom of the tunic. It has a slight um, sway, so it, you don't want it to be straight across. Then his legs are gonna be coming out here, okay? Now he's got sort of a wide stance because he's a soldier. He is, he's ready, he's standing firm, okay? So the, the key with this is, here are the knees. There's just a little indentation there. Uh, strong here, a little bit in towards the knee, and then you're gonna come out where the calf is and back into the ankle. Coming down, a little bit out for the calf, down to the ankle, and make the tops of his sandals. So again, coming in, down, a little bit in for the knee, a little bit out for the calf, and then down to the ankle. So you're gonna keep sketching this until you think it looks like it's believable, okay? You want him to have this muscle here and then he has to come back in. So there's, you know, in towards the knee and then out. And then, um, you know, have fun with the sandals. There's a lot of detail there, okay? He's got the straps. Okay, so once you get his, his foot here, He's got the straps coming over, all right? The same over here. This one is gonna be kind of tucked in behind the shield. But try to be um, symmetrical. Whatever you do on one side, do it on the other, okay? So he's got, you know, he's actually standing on part of the, the shoe there. All right, what other detail? Let's work, let's work right in here. Um, you, you have the top of the, of the helmet there's actually like um, another line there that kind of goes around okay so this is when you start to fine-tune get a little bit darker with your sketching okay if you're if you want to do something different with the helmet you can absolutely
okay? Use your creativity. But if you wanna make it look just like this, this uh, drawing here, then this is what you're gonna do. Okay, so he's got like a, this part comes in and then it goes sort of out like that, right? All right, and maybe it, it goes even closer to his eyes here. And then his, that kind of scarf here, right around his neck. Then there's a, 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 a very prominent place here that's holding his armor together. So it's got, it's, it's probably made out of um, leather and it has like, you know, a place where it's going in. And this is when, when you're gonna start to, um, there's a major place here and here. Those are the next two things. So sketch it so that you like it and then get started with it, okay? Try to make it symmetrical on both sides, okay? About the same thickness, like that. And then the next one comes in a little bit and down. And the next one, come down a little bit and down, okay? And actually these are like on the bottom also. So start to, you know, get in the details. Okay, it's gonna keep coming down here. It's almost like a armadillo, <laughs> this armor is. Okay, then he has this bare arm, okay. I'm gonna get a softer, um, I'm gonna go for like a 4B, and um, I'm not gonna keep doing the details here. Actually, make sure that you've got, you know, at his waist, I'll do this, this part. You want to make that belt. That, you know, so again, this could have so many different configurations. Use your imagination. And make sure that it is something that you can label, okay? So, I'm gonna show you how to shade and then we're gonna work on lettering, okay? Um, so I've been using the HB pencil. Now I'm going to a, a softer one, not the softest, but so let's, let's start to establish, see how much darker and richer that is, okay? Now, because I like what I've done, I'm gonna make it darker and I'm gonna use this to shade. Okay, so we have this. So you wanna think about where is the light coming from and, and, to, and in order to make um, you know, him look like he has body, he's, he has substance, then you're, he's going to, it's gonna be darker towards um, the edges of him, okay? So you're gonna, you're gonna shade, remember how we did the Parthenon, okay? And then shade the next one in, okay? And maybe a little bit under here because it's, it's so from dark to light. Now think about, you know, if this would be maybe, you know, shiny. I mean, it's not a medieval, he's not a medieval knight, <laughs> but it still could be, it could be, um, have some sheen to it, even if it's leather, okay? So this is where you start to, now I've got all these pencil marks. Now before I got started, I would probably go ahead and erase those. But this is how, so under here now, when we do his, we've got his, this under area here, okay? So if we keep coming in, you get the idea, okay? Now in here, okay, we've got this. So if you use a, a darker, um, a, a softer pencil, it's gonna give you a much uh, richer line and an, uh, an opportunity to shade. So we've got all of these leather pieces. So getting those in, and maybe that's part of your sketch. The other thing is, we've got this wonderful um, strap that comes across here, right? So, you might have, would have wanted to have done that before. 
you start it into that. But under here, okay, even when you have all of those straight lines coming through here, right, this would be darker under here, okay? So you're always doing the, the edges darker, okay? So, you know, shading from, from dark to light. So maybe these areas, I'm gonna do that darker, darker, okay? Do his whole helmet darker. And maybe, I, maybe I'll decide I wanna leave those kind of lighter and I'm gonna start here on the edge because remember it's rounded, so darker around the edge, okay? It's like a sphere. But I wanna leave these the, the, the neat detail um, maybe more white, okay? So you get an idea of how to shade, right? So the important thing is going over your sketch lines and making it prominent, okay? You're gonna do the same thing with his features, okay? He's, you, you've got the tops of his eyes, you've got the rounded part, maybe leaving a little bit of a highlight, okay? Maybe, okay, now he's looking a little more manly. Give him some good eyebrows, right? The tops of, of his lip, and then maybe about the cleft. And then, you know, making the sides of his nose and just the, the, that middle part, and then maybe just shading, okay, instead of that being a line, okay? You're also going to, um, shade around his face towards the outside here, okay? So I, I feel like that's giving you an idea. Um, let, me, let me do the, the shape of his, his legs now that I've, I've sketched it and I kind of like the shape, okay? And then you've got the sandal. So that gives you an idea. So really observe what what his leg actually looks like okay and then we've we've just got you know the slight the, the slight kneecap here and then we've got the curve of the top here okay so i've left a lot of things really sketchy here um but the the neat thing about um starting off with just blocking out shapes and then getting you know more defined once you like what you've got Okay. And then observing and also using your creative license and not necessarily copying what you see, but using it as inspiration. I do like this line. I, I do like this, um, the shield having this border through it. So you decide, you know, how you would like this to be and if you want it to be different. Okay, let's talk about lettering. Um, we want to have an area, so using our ruler again, we don't want the, the letters to be right above his, on, you know, on top of his head. So we want to do another line a little bit higher, you know, maybe a quarter of an inch higher. So let me put my soft pencil away. Okay, so do another guideline. It is, it's important with lettering for you to take the time to make the letters um, a consistent size. So let's say that we want um, the letters to be like one and, one and a quarter inches high so that you're leaving a margin up here. It's not all the way up to the top of the paper either. Okay, so if you're gonna do Armor of God, so we've got another guideline here. Now, you can make it smaller or, or, you know, bigger. But I would do the same thing down here, about a, about a quarter of an inch below his feet, all right? And then leaving a margin, okay? So, you are gonna decide what you want. I have a couple of things that I wrote on the drawing uh, diagram. I, I put the armor of God, 
be strong in the Lord, stand firm. I thought that was a, a thing that really um, pops out from the verse. And then Ephesians 6, um, 10 through 17. What's important to think about is um, uh, labeling each part of the armor. So the helmet of salvation, um, the sword of the spirit. So this is actually a spear, um, but and this is his sword. But if you do, um, if you think of them as both as you know offensive weapons, which is what the word of God is, the sword of the spirit and the word of God are really the same thing. You you can label both things if you'd like to. The belt of truth. Um, this is the breastplate of righteousness. So you know, I I think just kind of putting it off to the side, and then the shield of faith. And then his shoes are the shoes for the gospel of peace. So think about how you want to label those things. Um, you can make them small and off to the side. Um, and, you know, uh, I think about whether or not you want to make everything all caps. Um, if you'd like to, you know, use maybe some kind of uh, neat writing that you already do. But the, the most important thing to do up here is the armor of God. So um, the, the important words are armor and God. So what I like to do usually is I need to think about what, how is that going to fit in here. So maybe if we make armor and God the, the big things, then we're thinking about, and so we're in between this line and this line, okay, very lightly. I'm making an A, and then maybe I'm making a, a smaller one. You decide, okay? So see how lightly I'm just doing caps here, just to see how it's gonna fit in. Okay, so it, maybe I do the in up and down, which is not what I did over here, but see that's something you can do. Then of, small, okay, and then God. And maybe the, you know, the G and the A go, um, go all the way up, and then the the other things are smaller. So if it doesn't fit in, then if you do it really lightly, then it's easy to um, to erase. Okay. So let's talk about ways to enhance. So here's my A. Okay. Um, there are there are choices here. You can make it um, like almost 3D. Okay, as if it were, you know, three-dimensional like that. Or you can make, well, let me make, let me make these other ones darker while I keep playing with the R. Lettering is definitely an art, and the more you do it, um, the the more ways that you that you learn tricks. Okay? Um, spacing is is part of of doing good lettering. Okay, here's the G. Okay, so you're you're trying to get the letters to be um, the same distance apart, or to appear like they are the same distance apart. Okay, and then we had the over here. I'll just do it darker so you can see it a little better. There are so many ways to do lettering. You can do, you know, curvy lettering, you can do block lettering, and that's what I wanna show you right now. So we, here we have this A, okay? Another thing you can do is to give it some um, dimension. Um, no, we, we already did the dimension. What I mean is give it some thickness, okay? So you're starting off Okay, and then I would do it with every single letter like that. So a lot of times if you if you um, make it light, okay, so if I'm gonna do the R like that, I'm gonna make it the same thickness as I did the, 
Okay, so I'm doing the outsides first and then I'm coming in and then I'm trying to make the same thickness. Okay, so that's another thing to do. Now, with the, let's try it, let's play with the G. Another thing to do um, is to uh, make it look like it's a type style, okay? Or that it's like, um, um, like a, a, a type style that you like, some uh, like Roman numerals, or there are so many different type styles. And that, what I mean by that is that um, it's almost like you're you're drawing a calligraphy letter here. This is thicker, thin, thicker. So the same thing if you did the O like that, make the sides thicker and the bottom and the top super thin. And if we went, came back in and we did the D like that, okay, then, so that is another way to do lettering, okay? So you can give it dimension, you can shade, you can give, um, like I did at the beginning where I, I made it look like it was, you know, um, kind of going sideways, then you can actually shade part of it. <clears throat> so have fun with that, okay? Then, then you're going to, um, very lightly, let's say that we're going to do breastplate. Okay. If you want to and, you, you know, need to have guide, like a line at the bottom so that you're straight, um, that's a good idea. But do it really lightly until you like what you've got. Okay. So I kind of like it, breastplate of... And our righteousness is going to be, so probably this is not going to fit. It's going to be longer. So you always think about um, how long your letters, yeah. So I should have started breastplate over for, um, farther over here so I could fit in righteousness. But that's part of lettering because this is part if you're if you have sloppy lettering then it takes away from your drawing and if you have nice and neat um then the message of what you're writing comes across better okay that's pretty good um <clears throat> okay so at the bottom then um and you decide if you want to put like stand firm in here like we have um stand firm in the bottom and then ephesians you know, um, and maybe you do a different kind of thing. You do something that's um, maybe more like a cursive or, or a flowing. It doesn't all have to be the same. Um, so what I'd like for you to do is, um, you know, develop your whole drawing and then shade it in so that it, it appears um, like it could pop off the page. Um, by the way you have shaded it. So I've gotten you started here. Um, hopefully um, uh, you have fun with this and I'm looking forward to seeing your artwork.